have an economy that hoards potential and a politics that hoards power. No similar country puts so much decision-making in the hands of so few people. And that leads to more inequality across our country than anywhere else in Europe. That's not a coincidence. I'm utterly convinced by this. Economic reform and political change must go hand in hand. The decisions which create wealth in our communities should be taken by people with skin in the game. Now, take the scandal of what's happened here in Wales with what used to be EU structural funds, the Shared Prosperity Fund. Funds that have been essential for Welsh businesses and communities for years. Powers that have been exercised here since the inception of devolution. The Tories have used the Brexit process to take back control of that money, not from the EU, but from Wales. It's an outrage. The Welsh Government used those funds to get unemployment down, for wage subsidies, redundancy support, investment in the green opportunities of the future. The UK's first regional bank, supporting your world-class universities, modernising the Welsh economy. Now, they have to watch the Tories sit on their hands as a global supply chain crisis hits key Welsh industries, from steel to semiconductors. Well, no more, because today I can announce that the next Labour government will return power over its economic destiny to Wales.